This is Real News Media TV, coverage you can trust. Please like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Select all for daily news updates. Good afternoon, my Real News Media TV family. Welcome back to the channel for another news update for August 31, 2023. And in the news this afternoon, bus and taxi fares increase moves closer. Minister with Responsibility for Transport, Daryl Vaz, is inching closer to announcing the increased fares which commuters will pay on buses and taxis. In July, Vaz told the news that he was committed to finding an appropriate fare structure which will guarantee financial viability for all stakeholders involved as well as affordability for the commuting public. At that time, he announced the establishment of committee, which includes representatives of the Public Transport Associations, the Island Traffic Authority, the Jamaica Constabulary Force, the Transport Authority, the National Works Agency, and the Ministry of Local Government and Community Development to discuss several issues surrounding the transportation sector, including the long-promised fare increase. Addressing a post-cabinet media briefing at the Jamaica House on Wednesday, Vaz said the committee first met just over two weeks ago before staging another meeting on Tuesday. The report was that the group put together a proposal to fine-tune fare adjustments, which will be concluded with a meeting today. That will set the stage for recommendations to come through the process, as I know that is a pressing matter, said Vaz. So the whole issue of a fare increase is going to be finally dealt with in terms of how it is handled, which means coming up with a formula that will dictate what is the need for a fare increase, and then, of course, what I have also asked, instead of it being done ad hoc, is that a timeline for reviews is done, whether it is annually, biannually, whatever the formula is best added vas. He said this system will ensure that Jamaica has a system in place, rather than separate entities, approaching the minister for different levels of increase in an ad hoc manner so that everybody agrees on this template in relation to what are the inputs that are required to happen to trigger a fair increase review, Vaz told the media briefing. Vaz had previously told the news that while he accepts that a fair increase was committed to it in 2021, of which transport operators received only a part, his aim is to consider an increase in parallel with improvements in the transport system so commuters can see improvements and justify the increase. Fares for public passenger vehicles were last increased by 15% in 2021. Since then, transport operators have been pressing the government for another increase. Late June, Egerton Newman, president of one of the most vocal groups, the Transport Operators Development Sustainable Services, indicated that they would be asking for a 120% increase in fares before the end of this year. My proposal to the government is for 120%. No, I am a businessman. Therefore, we can sit at the table and look at it. But right now, the true fair travel for the sector is a 120% fare increase, said Newman, as he urged the commuters to accept that they will have to pay more. If the passengers want a better for the sector, if the passengers want a clean sector or a safe sector, they have to pay the true cost for travel. That's all I can say. You are demanding a certain standard of the sector. This sector is demanding also certain things from the government, and that is a proper fair increase, added Newman. Mandeville heist bordering on terrorism sees police. Even as Fitz Bailey, Deputy Commissioner of Police, revealed that four people, including a woman, have been arrested and $2.5 million recovered following last Friday's attack on a beryllium crew in Mandeville, the total amount of stolen is yet to be disclosed. That attack, which has caught national attention, I just want to point out that we are conducting a high-level investigation in that matter, and at this time, I can report that we have arrested four persons, including a female, DCP Bailey said, while addressing a press briefing at the Greater Portmore Police Station in St. Catherine on Wednesday. We have recovered so far over $2.5 million, added Bailey. He said the incident, which resulted in five people being shot and injured, is akin to terrorism. The investigation continues as we seek to bring those who are responsible for that act, which I consider to be something that is bordering on terrorism, when you can at that time of the day, without any form of provocation, fire your weapon carelessly, injuring at least five people. 
Two were seriously injured by that shooting, but we commit as an organization to ensure that this matter is properly investigated, he said. All those persons who are responsible will be brought to justice. I am confident that it will be done, he added. The attack on the beryllium couriers occurred shortly after 5 p.m. on Friday outside a branch of Scotia Bank. Footage which has gone viral show men armed with high-powered weapons making their escape with two bags presumably containing cash. On Saturday, the police said a suspect was apprehended driving one of two vehicles in which it is believed the criminals made their escape. Police said the suspect was traveling in a black Toyota Wish motor car, which was intercepted about 1.30 a.m. on Saturday in the vicinity of Sunset Boulevard on the Four Paths Main Road in Clarendon. Police said one 9mm magazine, one M16 round, two AK-47 rounds, and a ski mask were found in the vehicle. It is understood that the vehicle, which bore mismatched registration plates, belongs to a resident of Portmore St. Catherine. Travelers to Jamaica must complete immigration form online starting September 1. Beginning September 1, travelers coming to Jamaica will be mandated to fill out the immigration form online. The online form will replace the paper document that is issued to travelers on airlines. The Immigration Customs C-5 form is an entry requirement for persons traveling to the island whether they are residents in Jamaica or visiting. The full rollout of the online form is being done in partnership with the Passport Immigration and the Citizenship Agency and the Jamaica Customs Agency. Speaking at a JIS think tank on August 30, Chief Executive Officer of PICA, Andrew Winter, said the online form is the digitized format to the original paper document. The online passenger declaration or C5 form is what you would normally get in the paper format from the airline to fill out when returning to Jamaica. With the online form, passengers will now be able to submit that application ahead of their travel and they can do it up to 30 days before they return to Jamaica, Winter informed. Travelers can fill out the form by visiting www.enterjamaica.com. Winter explained that persons will find the form easy to complete as there are no changes in the questions asked. It is the same information that is on the physical form that is on the online form. It is like a mirror, he said. Meanwhile, Senior Director, Projects Enterprise and Risk Management, PICA, Amy Johnson Lynch indicated that PICA has been in dialogue with airport operators to ensure that internet access will be available to allow persons to fill out the forms. Airport operators have committed to providing Wi-Fi services at the airport, so we are confident that you will have Wi-Fi accessibility. If for whatever reason there is a break or there is no Wi-Fi available, then we will revert to either having you complete the physical form or we will assist you in completing the process electronically by other means, she said. Winter explained that once persons complete the form online, they will receive an email confirming that their application was a success. He said that PICA has also made arrangements for Wi-Fi access at the airports in Jamaica, so persons can also fill out the forms when they land in the country. Once you reach the airport to check in, most international airports will have Wi-Fi. If the airline that you're traveling with provides Wi-Fi, you can certainly fill out the form. But let's say you forgot to fill out the form. On arrival in Jamaica, we are going to have Wi-Fi facilities that will allow you to go onto the website, complete and submit it before you are processed, either at the chaos or through an immigration officer, Winter said. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe and hit the notification bell. Select all for daily news updates.